welcome back to another random repair video. Hey, this is so Pinterest of me. I hate myself for doing it, but I've been assigned a task and I will make it happen. And I just want to show you the easiest way to do it. Um, a lot of people want to build these uh, pipe lights or pipe lamps, which is basically stuff in a light bulb, usually an Edison bulb, as seen on Pinterest, into one of these, connecting it into some pipes in a shape and making a light fixture. This is very easy. Um, I, I wanted to, I was kind of on the search to find the, the greatest combination, uh, the easiest fitment, the nicest, cleanest look. And um, I found an easy inexpensive one that uh, is available at a lot of hardware stores or hit up your Amazon or whatever, pretty straightforward. Okay, now the entire lamp assembly is being made from half inch black pipe. This is galvanized, but it doesn't matter. It's all being spray painted black anyway when it's done. So you basically fit it all together, the lamp, however you want your, your pipes, however many lights you want in whatever direction. And uh, that's easy. This is all half inch pipe. Okay, you can see here it's half inch, um, half inch black pipe. But the trick is finding something that um, fits a socket into here safely. I've seen people put in a bulb holder and glue it in with electrical tape around it and this and that. And um, I don't feel that's incredibly safe. Um, you know, obviously nothing of this is going to meet any sort of standard or approval or whatnot. But, um, you know, there is a way of doing it as safely as possible. And this is, this is my way. Okay, so the first thing you need is uh, a one half to one and a quarter reducing coupling. That's what this is called. So if you go into, you may have to go into like a plumbing supply place or jump online. Uh, you can find them there pretty much anywhere. They're about $5. I think I paid for one um, just locally here. So half inch to inch and one quarter. Now, if you're using three quarter pipe because you want a chunkier looking light, it'd be a, th a three quarter to inch and a quarter. Um, doesn't matter really what's on this end what it comes down to is you want the reducing coupling to be uh, inch and a quarter and then what you want is one of these atron sockets la 1135 this thing is great now i'll show you why it's almost almost a perfect fit for these you could try fitting them first when you get it um you know this one fits pretty good a few of them don't like depending on the threads they don't fit as well um, but that one fits pretty good. The beauty of this this one here, though, is when you unscrew it left-handed, single-handedly, you will see all your connections are inside, safe as can be. Okay, so there's no wire sticking out. So what you do is you thread your wire through here, and then you leave it dangling here, and then you'll run it through the end of this cup, Okay, you can tie a knot in here or whatnot for, for strain relief, just in case someone yanks on the other side. Okay, and then you strip your wires, you wire the lamp socket as per the instructions. Okay, um, your brass terminal is your, your hot wire and your um, uh, silver terminal is your neutral. Fire it back into the socket with the wire and screw it in. And... Um, now, I will give you one tip here. This is it. I'm making this seem a little easier than it really is because, you know, I found about 50% of the time these go in there and they bury themselves in about yay deep and they fit perfectly. This one here, as you can see, it goes in. Oh, this one actually goes in pretty good. Oh, that's a little crooked. Not quite. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a Dremel tool. Okay, with just a, a regular stone on it. We're just going to go over the threads just once in here, just to clean them up. And then we're going to try the fitment again. So see, just take a little bit off in there and it just goes right down in there. And it sits in there pretty good. Now I would put a, just a little dab of uh, two-part epoxy on either side before you push it in, because there's a chance that if you had to screw in a light bulb that was tight, this might pop out. But um, that uh, that is a, almost a perfect fit. And, uh, you know, you do get some socket protruding, obviously, but I think it looks pretty cool. And, um, you know, with the right bulb in there, you're good to go. That is 
the way I do it anyway. So once again, if you don't want to read the comments, but I'll put them in the comments. It's an Atron LA 1135. It's a keyless socket, so no switch on it. And there you go, ready to go. Enjoy.